What's up guys? So we're here with checking out a new game and we're gonna take a first look on my channel with uh, Hide and Hold Out H2O. It's another survival game. Imagine kind of like a Rust-esque game, but Waterworld. Uh, that's the best way I can explain it. Uh, it's definitely really cool and it has a lot of potential. Uh, so you do start out with a little raft and some uh, basic supplies here. And uh, you can start off a little raft here. And pretty much everything is, uh, I don't want to say buried, but just covered in water. And uh, you need to survive. Right now there's only about one server usually open, and uh, it is closed to the public. Uh, the game isn't officially out yet. But uh, your basic goal is to survive, and it, it's got more of a PvP focus, I would say, on it um, than other survival games, I feel, at the moment. Um, but of course, that's something they always uh, have plenty of space to work on. As you can see, we've got our health, and food, and oxygen, and gas, and uh, health meter down there. I'm not sure what this is. I, I'm basically going into this knowing uh, nothing of the gameplay. Uh, so we're exploring this together, guys. I think what we're going to do is head for that shore there. Oh, that's just a rock. Like, what's that floating thing? Oh, no, it's not a rock. It's a log. It's, it's an old tree. And let me know if the sounds for the game are a little too quiet. I do have it toned down because the raft was incredibly loud and the seagull noises were um, also pretty loud. So I turned it down a bit. Uh, it's always nice to see a early access game have working sound. Uh, I love those ones where they put out and they have sound bars and they don't even work. Uh, so I was very pleased to see I could turn those things down. So if it's too much, do let me know in the comments below there, guys. So almost hit land here. Uh, there are resource areas, so like sunken buildings, uh, factories, things like that. Uh, so I'm not sure if we're going to find anything we really need here on this beach, but we'll check it out. And we're basically taking a raft here too, because not only is it sa um, faster, but it's also safer. There are sharks in the water, and they are pretty nasty. My curiosity is, do I pick the raft back up? Oh, 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 oh. Let me... No, it just kind of keeps restarting. Okay. So... Uh, hopefully that stays there. <clears throat> Let's see. You've got a uh, spear, and you start out with uh, a little pick. What's up, guys? So we're here with checking out a new game, and we're going to take a first look on my channel with uh, Hide and Hold Out H2O. It's another survival game. Imagine kind of like a Rust-esque game, but Waterworld. Uh, that's the best way I can explain it. Uh, it's definitely really cool, and it has a lot of potential. Uh, so you do start out with a little raft and some uh, basic supplies here. And... Uh, you can start off a little raft here. And pretty much everything is, uh, I don't want to say buried, but just covered in water. And uh, you need to survive. Right now there's only about one server usually open, and uh, it is closed to the public. Uh, the game isn't officially out yet. But uh, your basic goal is to survive, and it, it's got more of a PvP focus, I would say, on it um, than other survival games, I feel, at the moment. Um, but of course, that's something they always uh, have plenty of space to work on. As you can see, we've got our health, and food, and oxygen, and gas, and uh, health meter down there. I'm not sure what this is. I, I'm basically going into this knowing uh, nothing of the gameplay. 
Uh, so we're exploring this together, guys. I think what we're going to do is head for that shore there. Oh, that's just a rock. I'm like, what's that floating thing? Oh, no, it's not a rock. It's a log. It's, it's an old tree. And let me know if the sounds for the game are a little too quiet. I do have it toned down because the raft was incredibly loud and the seagull noises were um, also pretty loud. So I turned it down a bit. Uh, it's always nice to see a early access game have working sound. I love those ones where they put out and they have sound bars and they don't even work. Uh, so I was very pleased to see I could turn those things down. So if it's too much, do let me know in the comments below there, guys. So almost hit land here. Uh, there are resource areas, so like sunken buildings, uh, factories, things like that. Uh, so I'm not sure if we're going to find anything we really need here on this beach, but we'll check it out. And we're basically taking the raft here too, because not only is it sa um, faster, but it's also safer. There are sharks in the water, and they are pretty nasty. My curiosity is, do I pick the raft back up? Oh, 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 oh. Let me... No, it just kind of keeps restarting. Okay. So... Uh, hopefully that stays there. <clears throat> Let's see. You've got a uh, spear, and you start out with... Uh, pickaxe here, and then I think we've got some food. Yep, 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 potatoes or something is what it looks like. Here. Yeah, I'm not really sure if there's any way to get up onto the uh, rocks here. And like I said, it's really er... So, uses... How do we... Oh, drop zone. Wow. Ship refueled. Let me just press E. There we go. Let's check this out. Move forward key. Liberty ship. So, looks like this thing might just be stuck here. Doesn't seem to be making any. And that got all converted into fuel. There's no way of getting it back. Okay, well, um, yeah, not entirely sure how to move this thing around. Did see a resource node down here in the water, though. Or you could get stuck in a the wall. There we go. Haven't really done any of the underwater stuff. And how do we swim down? Shift. Okay. It looks like the oxygen lasts a decent amount. Let's see if we can get this whole thing on one go. It looks like we can. And space seems to pull you up a little bit faster, so that's good. So, this is one of these uh, player build boats, I believe. Um, I don't know if this is something you find or build completely, so let's take a look at the crafting menu here. Um, and that's tab. So, you got your character screen here. And then you've got your uh, four armor areas. Uh, there is a weight limit. And then uh, it kind of shows your uh, character stats. And then over here we've got the crafting. So we, there's miscellaneous. 
quite a bit of cool stuff here. Some nails for crafting. Uh, then the, here's the structure. So this is how you build your basic little house. And it looks uh, shop wall. That oh, that's cool. So you can actually like trade stuff through it. That's uh, something a lot of other games need. And it looks like you've got a choice of like wood and metal pieces. So that's pretty cool. Uh, weapons. There's an AK. You got a blowtorch. More harpoons. A long rifle. We got a little SMG. Um, another pick again, a revolver, a rocket launcher, nice. And a sawed off shotgun, which will probably be a favorite of mine. You got the ammo you can make here. Uh, production, let's say a shipyard, a small shipyard. So these, these are going to be required to make boats like the one in front of us, I believe. Um, and then there's the turret supports. And you can build turrets on top of those for defenses, which is really cool. They've got the electrical stuff, so all this stuff here is needed to uh, set up like your electrical needs, <coughs> utilities. You got cooking pot, um, respawning area, which is based off beds, uh, shipping. We got the fishing rod, uh, furnace for cooking down the metal that we've got. Uh, you can make another raft here, and we've got some storage boxes and then equipment. Um, a belt lantern, now oh, that's cool. So you can kind of just attach it to yourself. It's waterproof and you can swim around with it. You've got your diving gear here and uh, some leather equipment. And then you've got food, so make bread. Okay, so that's what we got there. We start out with bread. So that's kind of the basics that they have in the game already. Uh, looks like E closes everything. So I think what we're going to do is uh, see if we can uh, swim around a little more and find a place to uh, start up. Alright <clears throat> right, guys, we finally figured out how to work the boat. Um, so basically left or right control which direction you're going. And then you have to actually engage the throttle back here. Um, which is a little bit weird. I'm kind of used to throttle being, you know, right next to the wheel. But we go ahead and set that all the way up. We should start moving forward here. Come on. No. What do we do? Yeah, it says we're moving. We should be moving forward now. Incredibly slowly. And it looks like right here where this is uh, where we can start building a turret. Or a flamethrower, that's really cool. But uh, I think that's going to do it for now, guys. We're going to try to learn a little more about the game. Uh, let me know if you want to uh, continually see updates on this, if it's something that interests you guys. And uh, I don't know about you, but I'm definitely excited to follow the <clears throat> excuse me, the follow the progress of this game. Uh, it's definitely going to be very cool. So, anyways, guys, uh, thanks for checking it out, and uh, we'll see you next time.